The Russian news agency Sputnik has reported that a shortage of Indian defense funding has been severely affecting India's crucial military projects including the advanced medium combat aircraft, and this report comes after the recent announcement of the Indian Air Force chief that India will not procure any foreign-made fifth-generation fighter jet and will go ahead with the indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet program. The Russian media also reported that China already operates its J-25 generation fighter jet and might achieve a sixth generation fighter jet by 2035. A chief Russian scientist has said that Su-57's radar cross-section footprint have been minimized without compromising its structural strength, and the stealth was the major reason for India's withdrawal. Top experts have said that Russia could repitch the Su-57 project to India, as Russia wants to re-establish crucial Indian investments. According to latest media reports, DRDO is developing a semi-active mission homing anti-tank guided system which has a range of 5 kilometers, which is designed to be launched from the Arjun tank. The cannon-launched guided system is intended to target all modern and future main battle tanks that are protected with reactive armors and low-flying helicopters and aircraft. The indigenously developed 120mm system uses a laser guidance, which is also capable of both direct and indirect laser designation. The Pakistan Navy has announced that it had conducted multiple tests of anti-ship systems and air defense systems in the North Arabian Sea. Footage from the video shows a Sea King helicopter that launches an Exocet anti-ship system which was purchased from French firm MBDA. The video clip also shows the launch of an unidentified system from its submarine, which can also be a submarine-launched version of Exocet from France. The third edition of the Defence India Startup Challenge has begun from 27 December, giving rare opportunity to the innovators to engage directly with the military and showcase their technologies. The event was attended by a team of 15 senior officers from the Southern Naval Command, the Indian Army and the Indian Air Force, and the Defence Startup Companies showcased their state-of-the-art technologies to the officials.